Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Today we are going to do a very simple hamburger dill recipe. Um, I chose this recipe for its simplicity. Um, you just need a few ingredients. This is a fresh pack pickle so you don't have to brown it. You don't have to soak it. Um, your fresh cucumbers will go into the jars with your spices and your brine mixture and can and it will need to sit for about four to six weeks for the flavor to develop but that's all you have to do to it so super super simple and the ingredients that you're going to need of course are your cucumbers you're going to need four pounds of cucumbers cut into quarter inch slices and we'll get to that again in a minute um, you're going to need vinegar and you need to be sure that the vinegar that you use, and this, in this case it's white vinegar, um, is at 5% acidity. Um, you're going to need dill seed or dill, heads of dill. Now, uh, your heads of dill, you're going to need two per jar for this recipe. I have dill seed, so one head of dill equals two teaspoons. So I will need, believe it or not, four teaspoons of dill seed per jar for this recipe. Um, I'm going to need peppercorns, I'm going to need mustard seed, cannon salt, and then I use a little pickle crisp in this recipe, and this is just calcium chloride, and it will help make your pickles a little bit crisper since we're not going to brown them and do all that stuff uh, beforehand. This will just help them be a little bit crisper. This recipe calls for four pounds of cucumber, so it's done by weight. And I've got a simple kitchen scale and a calculator. So to know how much that's going to be, because this scale measures in ounces, just turn it on. There's 16 ounces to the pound. So 16 times 4 equals. And that is 64 ounces. Simple as that. So in order to get your measurements exactly right, you're going to turn your scale on. And then the bowl or whatever you're going to use to measure your cucumbers in, you want to place it on your scale. One of the things to do when you're canning is to get all your ingredients together first and make sure that you have everything that you're going to need. Okay, we've got 64.9, which is just a little bit more than we need to have, but that's fine. Um, and since they've already been cleaned and they've already been trimmed, all I have to do is slice them to the proper size and it says that you want them to be in about mm, quarter inch slices your thickness. This recipe says that it will make seven pints. So I have pint jars and I have my lids and rings. Now the lids and rings I will go ahead and wash my hand and dry and get them ready to go and you no longer have to simmer your lids and rings and keep them hot. You, but you do need to wash them in good hot soapy water, rinse them well, I dry them and set them to the side, and I inspected my jars. Um, you want to make sure, if your jars aren't new, you want to make sure, well even if they are new, that they are free from chips or defects. Um, these are used, and I wash them when I, before I use them, I wash them when I put them up, and then I sterilize them in the dishwasher before I can. So there's going to be, uh, these will be placed in the dishwasher on the sterilized cycle and at least I don't have to do these by hand, but they were all checked first. ready to start getting our jars. Okay, we have our four pounds of cucumbers. They have been washed, they have been sliced, and they're ready to go. Um, I'm ready to make the brine, and the recipe calls for, um, we want six tablespoons of cannon salt. You want to go ahead and measure all this pretty good. It's not as bad as bacon, but you want to be pretty precise. So there's one, two, 
three, four, five, six. There's our salt. Then you want four cups of vinegar, your white vinegar. water. I just think it makes them turn out better. And that's all there is to the brine. Put it on your stove. You need to bring this to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, we'll pack our cucumbers. Our brine is getting ready to boil. So we'll start packing our jars. This is super simple. Like I said, it's, it's just a raw pack process. You want to get your cucumbers down in your jar. And this doesn't have to be perfect. You want to put as many cucumbers as will fit comfortably. You don't want them packed so tight you can't get your liquid in. And we're going to leave a quarter inch head space to each jar. And I've got a tool. I'll show you that in just a minute. cucumbers in our jar. We're going to want to add our spices. And we talked about that a head of fresh dill was two teaspoons and you're going to put, want to put two heads to the jar. So that's four teaspoons. So one, two, three, four. And this stuff is delicious. Then we're going to want a half a teaspoon of mustard seed. Two peppercorns. Just two. Now I like to add a little pickle crisp. And for a pint jar, you need an eighth of a teaspoon. And then all you have to do is fill it with bread. Our brine's boiling. And take your time doing this because you want your brine, of course, to go all the way to the bottom of your jar. use a rubber spatula. This actually came with a canning kit and they're wonderfully handy. And you run the tool down around the jar on the inside because you want to get any bubbles out. You don't want to have bubbles. 
down in your jars. And you see some of it's coming up it's as I'm running the tool around. That's all right. We'll see it right back down in there. See, that really displaced. There we go. That displaced our cucumbers, but that's all right. It's right back down in there. Now, your tool, if you have one of these cannon tools, um, has edges that give you your head space. The first one, that's going to be a quarter inch. So I'm going to put my tool on the edge of my jar and bring my brine right up to the bottom of it. And once that's done, excuse me just a second, you want to wipe off the rim of your jar. You want to be sure that this is very, very clean, otherwise your lids won't seal. Take a lid, put it on your jar. Place your ring on, and you just want to do these finger tights. You don't want to wrench them down, just finger tight. Once that's done, it's ready to go in your can. Isn't that pretty? One jar in. Okay, guys, I'll get the rest of these together and I'll be right back. My water bath canner holds seven pints, and you want to place them in your canner in such a way that you've got room around them. Submerge them and the water inside the canner you want it to cover your jars by at least an inch. Put your lid on. When it comes back to a bowl you're going to process it on let's see 15 minutes. Our canner's full. We have our seven pints in the water bath canner. Um, when it comes back up to a boil, we'll process it for 15 minutes. We want to wait till it gets to be at a rolling boil, and then we'll set our timer for 15 minutes. Welcome back, guys. Our 15 minutes are up, and we're ready to take our processed jars out of the canner. I hope y'all can see, I'm placing these jars on a double thickness of dish towels because you never want to put hot jars on a cold surface, such as a granite countertop or a marble countertop. The difference in the temperature can cause your jars to bust. Once you take them out, you want to space them apart so that they can cool. Take your little paper towel and get the water off the top. and they should start to seal. They will make a popping sound when they seal. And you don't want to press on them. I'm just very lightly getting the water off the top. And in just a very few minutes, they'll pop and seal. Sometimes it'll take them 
mm, 12 hours, maybe a little bit more for them to seal. So if they don't seal right away, don't give up. Um, after about 12 to 14 hours, check your lids. If they've all sealed, they're ready to be wiped down labeled and they'll be shelf stable for at least a year. Um, if they haven't sealed, you can recan them, but put them in your refrigerator and enjoy them. These do need to sit for four to six weeks to fully develop their flavor, but that's all there is to hamburger deals. Now, Joel brought in about 16 pounds of cucumber, so I've got a lot of pickling to do. See y'all next time. 28 jars. The day is fulfilled. If you like this kind of stuff, this homesteading, do-it-yourself, canning, uh, make-it-yourself kind of lifestyle, come on out to the channel and subscribe. Uh, we upload videos every Sunday, sometimes two, sometimes five. Just depends on what's going on on the farm that week. So now it's time for us to get on to the next thing.